Hi, today I need to change my infusion set with my pump, so I'm going to go through that and explain what some of the bits are and show you how it's done. This is the pump. Now, I'm not going to go in huge details to each step, because if you have a pump, you're going to have to do it yourself. That's busy rewinding back to the beginning, and this is what's come out. Um, that's got a little tiny bit of insulin left in but it might last me a couple of days, um, but as I'm changing all the goblins over, and just to show you, I'm going to keep all this in. That's the tubing, and then that's the bit that goes in the end. Um, it's hard to see the size of the insert, but it's, it's actually not very big at all, um, and it's, it's quite stiff, but it's also flexible. That's the bit that goes in your body. That's called the cannula. Now, the way this goes is... First we need to fill up the reservoir, which is actually this bit, and it comes ready with a needle on the end there, and you stick, you, you, you pull up your air to shove into the bottle, and then you suck the insulin back down. Now it's often thought to be best practice to keep the insulin at room temperature. It seems to reduce the number of bubbles you get in the, in the reservoir. Um, and we're all told to keep our insulin safe and if it's not in use it's in the fridge but I keep the bottle I'm using to refill in my kit bag that goes back in because that's still got at least another four reservoirs worth that comes off the top that's got uh, needles at both ends very hard to hurt yourself with it because they're, they're not poking out beyond the plastic but I put that in a sharp spin that unscrews from there then you open your, this is the infusion set, and it is a bit confusing because there's also something that they call the inserter or the insertion set, so infusion, insertion. Uh, I think what I usually refer to this as is a banger inner because it just bangs it in and that's just where it is. Right, so you unwrap this, pull out the length of the uh, tubing, make sure there's no knots in it, and you push that in and click it round. That's pretty easy. Then you shove that in there, it kind of clicks into place, and then you press act. When, when this happens, you can hear when it engages with the bottom of the reservoir, and then from the point of it uh, engaging there, you can actually watch the insulin go through the tubing, but I find it takes almost exactly eight units to get all the way through. You can hear it bleeping as well, so I'll do that. I tend to um, like to hold it over my hand and feel it. Um, it actually stops you having to sort of sit and watch. You can actually just sort of, you know, look around, should you so wish, um, while you're doing this. Like a lot of the stuff to do with diabetes, there it is. Um, you need a bit of time and space to do this. Um, it's kind of fiddly, there's lots of bits. It's much easier if you can uh, you know, lock the door while you're doing it. That fits into, uh, it very easily fits into this banger in a, the infusion set. It gets, this again, you've got to do this in the right order. At this point in time, there, there is a needly bit in there, but you can't, it, it won't hurt you doing this. You need to take off the the covering from the sticky bit before you use that to push this whole thing in like that. This blue thing sometimes comes off but if you're careful you can put it back in again. Um, you do kind of want to check it's in there. Now at this point you take off the blue cap. Now this is primed and there's no lock on it to stop you banging it away but the idea, you, the, these two white bits at the side you squeeze them and it bangs it in. So at this point, you've got to be very careful not to bang it in unexpectedly because this is sticky and you've taken the blue cap off. It's a real pain to try and make that go back down inside and prime it all up again. So, with due care and attention, you should also think about where you want your infusion set to go. Um, for sheer ease and for just quickness, to bang it in the most obvious place. I tend to breathe into it, which is to sort of make sure that your... Um, your, your skin is kind of taut, and anyway, here we go, and that goes in, you press it down here and that unengages the 
the bit where the needle is. Now the needle's actually inside the cannula, but you just pull it out, really simple. And if you bear in mind that this is going all the way through that plastic nobble, there's not a lot of that that goes inside you, but it more or less gives backbone and a bit of punch to, to get it inside. And that is it. Bob's your uncle. Um, then you have all the fun of trying to find somewhere to stick your pump that's not in the way or is in the way. Um, you, you should also, you do escape at this point, do a fixed prime and everything should just work tickety-boo. Um, my advice is if it really, really hurts when it goes in, there's a chance it's gone in wonky and eventually you'll just know about it. If it's really painful, you're just going to have to take it out and do the whole thing again. Um, you can reuse the insulin, but you'd have to ditch the um, infusion set. And then you have the tidying up. Um, sharps, normal waste, and uh, that's all the fun of the fair when it comes to infusion sets.